Hey, cool that you are here to check out my graffiti decals. In this video I show you how you can use my decals in Photoshop, Substance Painter and Mari. So let's dive in and have a look. Okay, now we are here in Photoshop. You are loaded in a UV shell from Maya from a simple plane. And here we can import now the decals. Here I have 10 atlas decals and 100 single decals. We can import single, invert the color, or import some atlas. Here we can go for this one. Size it down and we can totally mess up with this and can put decals wherever we want and hide the grid, save it to desktop, let's say so, yes, replace, okay, let's wait, okay, so here in Maya I have the plane with the default UVs with a redshift shader assigned, but you can do that with Arnold shaders, Renderman, V-Ray. It works with all the render engines, also real time, wherever you want. Here in the color section, you can add a file node, choose the graffitis, and fire up the IPR, and look at the decals. So this is how it works in Photoshop. And next is to work with the decals in Substance Painter. Okay, now we are here in Substance Painter where I loaded in the plane and applied two materials. The top one I added a black mask and imported one of the decal atlas textures here into Substance Painter. And now to use them, we need a projection tool and drag and drop the texture here into the grayscale channel. And now the magic will happen and we can paint our mask. And let's go for this one. Yeah, why not? And now we can paint now this way. The graphite is in. So next step is to show you how to work it, how to work with it in Mari. Okay, here we are in Mari with the sexy plane. To work with the decals here in Mari, it works maybe the same as in Substance Painter. We have here the notes. You can do that as well with players, but I'm more familiar with notes. That's why I do it this way. But you have the base color, it's white. Here, the second color is black and we paint the mask. Just drag and drop, Oops. just drag and drop it to the viewport and you are in the paint through tool. Zoom in, if you want, scale it a bit bigger, and now you can paint. Let's go for this here, and now you can feel like a graffiti artist. So I hope this helped you and I hope you have fun with the decals and they're a help for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or show me the, the final images you made with the decals. I'm also happy to share it on my Facebook to see what you, what you are doing with the decals. And yo, so happy painting to you. Bye bye.